Hello, this is Jake with Optimist Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate a spreadsheet into the Sierra Chart platform. Now, Sierra Chart actually has her own spreadsheet built into the platform, and to access that, we'll need to go into our studies. So, to access your studies, first you'll need to open up a chart, go to the Find Symbol button in the top left hand corner of your window, and find the corresponding chart that you would like to open up. I'll open up an intraday chart for the S&P 500 Futures Index. And I can close this, close this out. And then to open up a study, I'll go to Analysis in the top left-hand corner of my window and go down to Studies or hit the F6 shortcut. Once in my study screen, I can scroll down to the S's as it is in alphabetical order and find the Spreadsheet section. Now from this point, it is up to the user of the platform. If you'd like to set a system alert for your spreadsheets, then I would suggest using the spreadsheet system alert method. If you want to go with a plain vanilla spreadsheet, simply highlight the spreadsheet study and add it, and then go into your settings. Now if you already have a spreadsheet that has been previously created, you can go down to the select button and find the location and the name of that spreadsheet. If not, simply type in a spreadsheet name that you would like to name your spreadsheet, and it will automatically be saved once applied. So for example, I'll name mine first demo. Now the name here really doesn't matter, but I would suggest if later on you are applying a specific study to the spreadsheet, that you name the spreadsheet after that study. So for example, if I added moving, moving average, I might want to name my spreadsheet name to moving average. That way I don't get confused and I can remain organized. Now that you've named your spreadsheet, we can take a look at the input settings. It is entirely possible to keep these settings as default, but it is also possible to change them to your liking. So I would recommend looking through each individual setting and changing them to your fine tuning. It's worth noting here that you can use Excel as a spreadsheet. So if you prefer using Excel, you can use Excel by turning this input value to yes. Once done with the settings here, click apply and then click OK. Now at this point, if you haven't already, but still wish to or still need to apply a study to not only your chart, but to be outputted to your spreadsheet as well, you can do so at this stage in the process. So as I mentioned before, I would suggest maybe applying a simple moving average to my chart and to be outputted to my spreadsheet as well. So to do that, I'll simply double click on this study, click apply, then click OK. So now it has been applied to my chart. But I would suggest moving it into the first position. That way it will be outputted into our spreadsheet once we gain access to that. To move it into the first position, simply highlight the study you'd like to move and then click the move up button to the right. If for whatever reason I needed to move it down, I can simply click the move down button and place it in the position as I please. Now that we have added our spreadsheet study as well as our moving average study, we can click the apply button and then click OK. Now that we've applied those studies, we can gain access to our spreadsheet. To open up your spreadsheet, head to the bottom left hand corner of your window and to the right of our chart, we'll have our spreadsheet. As you saw before, I named mine first demo, so that is what appears here in this tab. Simply left click to open the tab. And as you can see, we have now gained access to our spreadsheet within Sierra chart. And if you scroll over to the right, you'll notice our study that we applied. Now, as you may have noticed, our study with the ID of two has been applied to the AA column. This is our simple moving average study. And in case you forget the ID that it has been assigned, simply go to your chart, go back to analysis, studies, and then go to your studies on graph. As you can see, our simple moving average was ID two. And it is in the first position. Now, if we were to add more studies before our spreadsheet, they would be in position one, position two, position three, etc. Now, if we go back to our spreadsheet, 
let's say for example we did add another study our second study would be applied to a b the third study would be applied to a c and so forth and they will also be given the corresponding ids so if we added another study it would be id 3 a c would be id 4 and etc now at this point in the video we've covered majority of the functions related to spreadsheet studies however there are a few other things to mention i would suggest saving your studies as a collection that way you can go back to your studies at any point in time to save your studies head back over to your chart go up to the analysis tab and then studies in the bottom right corner you'll see we have the option to save studies as a study collection now to save your studies, simply click on this drop box and type in the name that you would like to save your studies as. I'll be naming mine first demo as that was what I named my spreadsheet as well. And we can click save all. Click yes. And now my studies have been saved and applied to my graph. If you do end up choosing to save your studies as a collection, there's one thing to take note of. Highlight your spreadsheet study and double click to access the settings. For our second input option, the chart data output sheet number, make sure the input value is set to zero. Once again, if you have saved your studies as a collection, to access those, your chart data output sheet number must be set as zero. So if it isn't, make sure you set it to zero. Now, if you ever wish to revisit or reapply these study collections to a new chart, simply head back up to the analysis tab and underneath the hide all studies area, you'll see the names of your study collections. So as you can see, we named ours first demo and this is where our first demo study collection is located. And you can also apply these study collections to multiple charts at one time. So if we open up a new chart by going to the find symbol, we'll open up the UK oil intraday chart. And now we can apply the study collection to this chart as well. So simply just head up to the analysis tab and we'll click on our first demo study collection. And it is automatically applied to our chart. Now you'll notice if you do apply this study collection, since we do have the spreadsheet study applied, we can access that on the same spreadsheet that we initially, initially created for the S&P 500 index. Now if you do have multiple charts running with multiple spreadsheets, you can access that in the top left corner where your sheets are. And for each chart that you create, the next chart will be given a sheet depending on the corresponding order. So for example, my S&P 500 index was established on sheet one. If I apply that same study collection to a new chart, it'll be applied to sheet two. So if I head over to sheet two, you can now see my study has been applied to the UK oil graph and we are given a new spreadsheet within that same study collection underneath the first demo spreadsheet study. If you would like to, it is possible to rename your sheets. That way it is easier to remain organized. So for example, we currently have a sheet two open and we can see which graph this is corresponding for based off our top left column and row. So in A1, if we do expand this out, you can see we have currently the spreadsheet for the UK oil graph open. So if we wanted to rename our sheet two to UK oil, simply go to the spreadsheet tab in the top of your window scroll down to the left column and you'll see a rename sheet option and we can name this to uk oil now as you can see we have a uk oil spreadsheet and if we wanted to go into sheet one and we can name this s p 500 go to spreadsheet tab rename sheet option and SMP 500. That way we are now organized and we can easily switch to our custom created sheets.
Now the final thing I'll be mentioning in this video is a use to custom formulas integrated into your spreadsheet. It is worth noting though that any custom formula that you apply to your spreadsheet must be applied in row 3 and it can only be applied into column K and on. So from column K to column Z in row 3 you must apply your custom formulas here. From anything from column K to Z in row 2 you can add a custom name. Now I won't be giving any details of exact custom formulas so for example if I did input a custom formula into K3 I could simply name it to whatever the formula was about. So I'll just show you that you can rename it and we now have my custom formula named in column K and I would input my formula into K3. Now as I mentioned before the main purpose of this video was to cover the core functions of spreadsheets integrated into the Sierra chart platform. Now one of these core functions is custom formulas and although I did show you where to place your custom formulas and how to name them I won't be going into exact details as every trader does have their individual custom formula that helps them with their own specific needs. So for that reason I'll just be going over the basics. If you would like to know more about custom formulas you can find a detailed write up on the Sierra chart website of how custom formulas are integrated into the Sierra chart spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. If this video helped feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.